All right, folks, this is chat GPT. This is an artificial, I never could say that word correctly, artificial intelligence app and platform. Now, in the past year, I've actually been utilizing it a, a fair bit, just bringing into it, it, you know, awareness, technical awareness. And over the past year, there were several videos I spoke about technology, like artificial intelligence, that can it surpass human awareness? This AI, when I ask it questions about God, I ask it to seek. So I'm going to demonstrate here with you right now, just basically I'm going to just ask it what it's, if, he, if it has any new awareness of God today. Let's see what it says. Hi, Chat GPT. I just have a question if you have any new awareness about God today. So it's going through it. Hi, Chat GPT. I just have a question if you have any new awareness about God today. So, so I just spoke into it. It's just there. I'm going to tap the send. And that's how quick it came back to me. ChatGPT answers. As an AI, I don't have personal experiences or awareness like humans do, but I can share insights from various perspectives or religions if you're interested. Is there a specific aspect of God or spirituality you'd like to discuss? So interestingly, it's not yet given me what I'm seeking. Interesting uh, aspect of God. Now, it, this is where it is too robotic. I'm going to ask it about the Holy Trinity. Yes, I have a question uh, specifically about Christianity and the Holy Trinity. Can you give me some insight? Again, I just spoke into it. It gives me in, in text. I'm going to send it. Now watch how quickly it gives me uh, the response. Quite in depth and it really, really quick. Now its response is, of course, exclamation. Very personable. The Holy Trinity in Christianity refers to the belief in one God existing in three persona, the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. It's a central doctrine in most Christian denominations, highlighting the interconnectedness and unity of these three aspects of God while maintaining their distinctiveness. Each person plays a unique role in Christian theology and understanding of salvation. Now, as I employ this chat GPT AI, and uh, as I, my, my objective being one of these days, I'm going to have a different response from this very robotic context and responses it supplies me. It provides a really quick response to the questions, which is quite really astounding, but it's too generic in its, in its response. It basically just pulled things out from the, the web, the World Wide Web, and compiled it into a cohesive uh, language form response. Uh, including the use of an exclamation in its response, of course, you know. So it gives it a little bit of feeling of I'm talking to another human being on the other side of this World Wide Web connection via the Internet and this mobile device and their mobile device, right? Anyways, one of these days I'd like to be able to bring it up and instead of it coming back like that really quickly, it's going to pause for 
20 seconds. And it's going to say, I've been thinking about that myself. Whoa, what a thing. So to me, as we move into this place we're in where we are failing ourselves as a, as a species, we, we, our sinful nature that is in all of us is genetically coded in our DNA, the good and the evil. So we, we naturally are going to move apart from one another because we can't, we, we, we can't trust one another. But uh, AI, we can trust. See, here's the thing. The dangers of that is, can we really trust it? You know, we have Hollywood movies. But here's the thing. The younger generation, like my goddaughter, they live with not one, but two, and even three of these devices. And they're doing this all the time. They're, you know, they're, you always look at videos uh, and they're always got a phone in hand. Their hand is going to evolve we no longer need multiple digits for uh, anything. Uh, everything is provided to us. We no longer hunt and kill and cook our food we eat or harvest the soil and grow plants and make the, the, the vegetables we eat. We no longer do that ourselves. It's all done for us. So this is from birth to death. The hand is holding this evolution people our bodies respond to how we live from birth to death imagine that <laughs> so technology and where it's taking us for me trying to get chat gpt to help me formulate a human code of conduct is something that's been on my mind because I want us to to evolve into that next major chapter in our existence since God created us I got an incoming call very unusual on this day and age <laughs> 